Okay, I think we have gained enough knowledge to write our own build.xml file for our application. And if you remember our application, all it does is it's going to add a couple of numbers. I had also walked you through our project and its structure. The source directory will have all the Java files as well as some resources like properties files or XML files, etc. The web content will have all the client technologies like cascading style sheets, images, JavaScript, JSF, etc. And then in the build directory, we have the classes directory, which we're going to use during the build process. And this directory will actually help us create a var archive. And here's our build.xml. And all it has is a bunch of targets. So let me walk you through a list of tasks that we wanted to perform. So as a first step to write a build.xml, you need to jot down all the things that you want to do as part of your build process. In our case, I wanted to perform initialization and in this section what I'm going to do is to create the directory build slash classes and then copy all non-Java files from the source directory. Similarly, we're going to do the build where we're going to compile all the Java files in the source directory, create dot class files and then copy those dot class files to the build classes directory and uh, later we're going to package all the content inside the classes directory as well as the web content and create a var archive and finally deploy that var archive onto our server tomcat server in my case and before we do all that we want to make sure we have deleted the build classes directory as well as the var file that gets generated so here's the build.xml with empty targets and the starting target is going to be the deploy target which in turn depends on package, package depends on build, build depends on init, init will depend on clean. So let's start writing the task for initialization phase. So as part of initialization phase we want to create this directory as well as copy all the non-java files or resources from the source directory. Now in order to save your time let me pause the video, write the code and get back. So here it is, I'm creating this directory, build classes, and the path is related to, to the base directory that you set in here. In this case, it's current directory. You already know that. I've created this property with the name project classes dir, and I've used the same name in here as well. So this instruction or this task will create us this particular folder, classes folder under the build folder and then we're trying to copy all the files that are not Java files from the source directory to the classes directory and so I've used this type file set and I said exclude all the Java files which means it's going to copy all the files that doesn't end with .java extension. So we're good with this task now, now let's move on with build task. Again, let me pause the video and get back. Okay, here we have it. And as part of build task, we're supposed to compile all the Java files residing in the source directory and then copy the dot class files to the classes directory. And that's what we're doing here. We have the destination directory set to the classes directory. This is the same path that we've used before in here. And then using the Java C task, we're trying to compile all the files, Java files that are residing in the source directory using the following class path. The class path is actually pointing to, if you go to our project, under WebINF, we have list of jars, in this case just one jar, that is needed in our program. Since we have written a solet, it's going to need this API to make use of certain classes and interfaces. So we have provided it as part of the class path and we've used the reference ID of the path to do so. So let's see what this refers to. So it's in here and is having a file set which includes all the jar files inside the following path. And if you go here, this path is pointing to the lib directory ultimately under the web content directory. Pretty straightforward, nothing really fancy, we've already 
looked at one example of that using the class path etc. So now let's go ahead and add a task in package that will create the var archive. Again let me pause the video to save your time. Alright here is how we're going to create a var archive and the file name is going to be the name of the project dot var. Well this is actually pointing to a property that would ultimately get us the name of the project. So here is the name of the var file and we're trying to get the project name by using built-in property and that will get us the project name whatever you set in here. Same will get reflected over here. So ultimately the var file that gets generated will be with the project name dot var. And we're trying to include all the content inside the classes directory. So you can use this particular tag classes and this is specially meant for the var task that will pick up everything that is residing inside the classes directory build.classes directory. So this includes all the dot class files as well as set of resources. We also want to include all the jar files or set of libraries that are residing in webinf lib directory and these are the libraries that we wanted to have them when we run the application and the file set will help us include all the web content basically whatever the content is inside the web content directory all the client technologies basically static pages so that's about this target and finally let's write the deploy and the clean target with that will be done. Let me pause the video. So here we have the deploy target. So we're basically going to pick the var file that we just created and the var file is going to reside in the same directory and we're going to copy it to the web apps directory of our server. So this property in here points to the web apps directory of Tomcat server. So here it is and in order to get the Tomcat home we're saying env dot the enrollment variable name but here there's one little addition here you need to add the following property that says enrollment and then you provide some string in here whatever the string that you provide in here you have to use the same in here so that you get access to all the enrollment variables just as you used here and so ultimately we'll be able to deploy that var file into the running Tomcat server. And finally the clean task target is just simply going to delete the classes directory as well as the var archive that gets created. So that rest of the targets will create everything from scratch. Alright, so let us run our XML and see if things will take effect. So it has performed the clean operation, initialization, build, package and deploy. And finally we must be able to see this application running. Everything works smoothly. Now again if you want to know what's going inside this application, how the code is written, you need to take a look at my course on servlets and JSP. That's from where this example is picked up from. All right. I think now you are pretty comfortable and confident with writing the build.xml files. We have few more concepts to cover in Ant before we say we learned everything. Alright, see you soon.